Okay, so today I'm showing you how to make um, this frame right here. Um, so I'm going to start out um, by cutting the die cut, and I'm using the, the second largest Spellbinders Nestabilities Labels 4 die, and I've already cut it out and embossed it on this um, cardstock. So I'm going to set that aside for a while. I'm going to take some post-it notes, just two right now, and um, you're going to take your stencil and using the inner part of it, the inside of it, you're going to trace the die. And this is going to create uh, the mask for your die. We're going to be cutting the inside out. We'll be keeping this um, outside part. So, um, just to save time, I've already cut it out. And that's going to go on there, but first, we're going to take another die cut, I mean another post it excuse me, and um, trace a circle an oval. Let's see if I can get this stay here. I'm gonna cut that out. So I've already got this um, cut out. So we're gonna place this over the um, die cut. Um, and I'm going to put the oval in the middle, get it nice and centered. I can take a while just making sure everything's perfect. Okay, so I'm using the Hero Arts Cling uh, musical background, and I'm putting it on one of their wooden blocks so it'll be easier for me to stamp. I don't really have any clear blocks that are big enough for these big clings. Um, and then using some brown ink. This is Martha Stewart ink. And it's really old and faded, but that works perfectly for what I want. So I'm going to stamp that all up. And I'm going to take my ink rag, just kind of get it here and there so then the ink will be even more distressed. So um, this surface I can wipe off any ink, well except for like stays on, but this this ink that I'm using right now comes off my work surface really easily, but if you don't have a work, surfa work surface like this, then put like a piece of paper for to cover up your work surface. So now I'm just going to go ahead and this around and stamp it. I like to stand up when I do this. Make sure we get that good enough. Alright. Um, as you can see, it's very, very um, faded. So, before you take these masks off, um, I'm using some Prisma, I think. Or no, Fabric Style. Uh, watercolor pencils. Um, you can just use any pencil you want, as long as it's colored. I just happen to have these on hand. Um, and then go about your oval. And this line will really make the part of the die that's not stamped really stand out. So. Go around and make sure it's good. Okay. 
All right, and instead of going around the lines over here right now, this cut isn't perfect. So I'm gonna take the die and put it back in there. And that'll make sure the line is right. And now I'm gonna go around This is the part where it's a little tricky. You don't want it to uh, go astray. So hopefully, I'm not getting my hands aren't getting in the way. You can see what I'm doing here. And this is basically my take on the waltzing mouse stamps. Um, because I don't have them yet. So, but I really wanted to make a frame. I just decided to make my own for now. And there you have this um, label. And one last thing I like to do is um, take some distress ink. I'm going to put this oval back on here. Don't get any ink on the um, non stamped part of it. And I'm just going to go around and distress it with the sink. I go inside too and get some distress in there. Um, just basically fill it all up. And so then. You've got that nice stamped frame. Okay, so um, there you've got the frames. Um, and one last thing I wanted to talk about on the cardstock I'm using here. This um, not quite cream, not quite white cardstock, and it's all speckled, kind of like craft cardstock. Um, I put I put down LSS as my supply list on my supply list um, because I get it from my local scrapbooking store. Um, that's what LSS means, uh, the abbreviations. Um, I really don't know who manufactures this because there's no stickers on the cardstock that say um, what company made it, so I don't know. But if you want to get a cardstock that's similar to this, I recommend um, PTI, Paper Tray Ink cardstock. I haven't bought any of that, but I hear it's really nice. Um, and that cardstock actually inspired me to get this cardstock. And um, this cardstock is cheaper than just paying for the shipping uh, from PTI. But here is what one of the sheets look like. It's like nine by 11 or something like that. So um, yeah, so I really like this cardstock. And um, that's it for today. Um, thanks for stopping in and have a great day.